Microsoft Jarvis is one of the most powerful autonomous AI at this moment. It's a system where ChatGPT can talk to different open source models and it is based on an amazing paper called Hugging GPT where you have got different tasks that can be done with ChatGPT or any autonomous AI. Microsoft today released the demo, live demo of Microsoft Jarvis or Hugging GPT. So I'm going to show you how to use Hugging GPT in this video. For you to use Hugging GPT, you need two keys. One is your OpenAI API key. Second is your Hugging Face token. So I'm going to show you both the instances, how you can get these keys and then run Hugging GPT yourself, like not on your local machine, definitely it's still on Hugging Face spaces, but how to use it in Hugging Face spaces for the purpose that you want. So let's get started with the demo. The first thing that you need is you need OpenAI API key. So go to your platform.openai.com and then grab your API key. After you have grabbed the OpenAI API key, you have to come back and paste here. So that's the first step. First step, copy the OpenAI API key, come back here and paste it. That's the first step. The second step, after you have done the first step, the second step is to get the Hugging Face token. How do you get the Hugging Face token? You have to go to any of the like huggingface.co repository and click your profile icon and then click settings. After you click settings, you can go click access token. After you click access token, you can create a new token. And in this new token, you can mention what the token is. In my case, I'm going to call it hugging GPT. I'm definitely going to delete this token after this video, but just for your reference, I'm going to create a token called hugging GPT and click write permission and generate a token. After I generate a token, I'm going to copy this, I'm going to go back to the spaces and then I'm going to paste it. So click submit first. And then the second thing is I'm going to click submit next. So the first thing is this. And the second thing is I'm going to click submit this. At this point, as you have noticed, this is running on an A10G machine. It requires a really powerful GPU for a lot of things that it does. But we have been fortunate because we got access to this because Hugging Face is running this on its own GPU and all we have to do is put our API key, sometimes wait on the queue, but still get the result that we want. As a first task, what we are going to do is we are going to understand how many human beings are on this picture. So in this picture, how many human beings are there? Before I show the actual task, I would like to quickly take you and remind you about Hugging GPT or slash Jarvis. So Jarvis or Hugging GPT has got large language model as a controller. It has got task planning, model selection, model execution, and then response generation. So you can give a task, in fact, with images, and then it is going to select the model, execute the task, give you the response. So remember this thing very clearly. One of the examples that you can give is, can you describe what this picture depicts and count how many objects are there in this picture. So we can go there and do the same thing. But go here and I'm going to say, paste the URL first, sorry. I'm going to copy the URL and I'm going to paste the URL. Did I just copy it? Yeah, I didn't copy it properly. I'm going to mention this. What is happening in this picture and how many girls are there? How many humans are there, I should say? How many people are there? That's better. How many people are there? And give the picture. So I've just literally said what's happening in this picture and how many people are there and I've pay pasted the text, the link with the, the extension of the image and I'm sending it to this. And as you know that now the image has been taken, the image has been downloaded. Now it is actually processing to understand what is happening in this picture and how many people are there. While it is going to give us the response, it is going to give us the detailed response. It's going to give us the actual answer, but it is also going to give us the models that it used to come up with the answer. And that's exactly what we're going to see now, where it's going to first evaluate this picture. Most likely it's going to use a model like a vid GPT-2 because it has to caption the image and then it has to do counting and all those things. So it says, based on the inference results, there are two people walking down a street in the picture. The workflow I used to answer your request is as follows. First, I used image to text model, this with GPT image captioning. It says two women walking down a street with a train. There's no train, this model's problem. Then I used object direction from this to detect 
what is the image and then it said two people and then finally I use visual question and answering this model to answer your question and then five the model generated five answers with the highest score being walking therefore to your question there are two people walking down on the street I hope this answer is useful is there anything else that I can help you with I think this is completely excellent now I'm going to ask the second question I'm going to say can you find me the sentiment of this text I love you and also translate this in Tamil so now once again as you noticed I've asked two I've given two tasks one I wanted to give me the sentiment of this text I love you and I also wanted to translate in another language okay so the NER it has used this model which in this case to classify the sentiment of the text and then it says I love you which is romantic okay cool that's that's probably the emotion then I use chat GPT model chat GPT to translate the text to Tamil which it says non unnai kadali kiren which is exactly I mean it it actually gave me in English or I should say the transliterated version of the English but it can actually it means exactly the same thing what I wanted so now let's actually try with an mp3 sound so let's try to give it an audio and then ask it to transcribe I'm going to go here copy the mp3 link and then I'm going to come back here and I'm going to say can you please transcribe this for me and then paste the link and then send it to it I'm still not very sure if it can actually download the mp3 but what I expected to do is use a model like whisper and then transcribe it for me if the mp3 is downloadable so as you can see we are in the second of the queue because a lot of people would have been starting to use already this amazing Microsoft Jarvis or hugging GPT it's our turn so we got the chance can you please transcribe this for me we have the link the link ideally should download the mp3 okay so the transcription does not make sense so there is something wrong happening with the uh, the mp3 on the transcription so this did not go well and the final task or final question that I want to ask is can you add the text I love you as an overlay on top of a cat cat dancing image so I'm trying to create an image where the cat is dancing but I wanted to have an overlay called I love you again this is not something that the model authors have mentioned that it can do but I'm trying to push the limits because in my mind what I'm expecting is to create uh, a stable diffusion image using the prompt called a cat dancing and I'm expecting it to pick some other hugging fish model and then actually embed this image so it's okay it's not bad like we don't see the cat dancing actually so it says to do this I first use this one to create the image of cat dancing okay cool then I use the same model to generate I love you it doesn't do a good job finally I combine these two images to, together to create the desired output and final image and uh, this I would say honestly speaking one of the best 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 autonomous AI system where all you have to do is give a task uh, or in, give an instruction and you don't have to ask it to specifically do anything because as you can see that I just gave the task I didn't specifically say go here fetch this do this do that I didn't do that and you can see a lot of examples I think this is one of the like I'm super impressed with this model this model is at this point called hugging GPT in some places it's called Jarvis but I I'm, I'm super impressed so you can go see how Jarvis works and uh, you can see the code as well if you go inside Jarvis you can see the entire code if you want to run this there are like multiple options for you to run this so for now you can run this from hugging face model hub sorry hugging face spaces while, while pasting your open AAP key and hugging face token which we discussed in this video I hope this tutorial was helpful to you in uh, looking at the potential of Jarvis hugging face hugging GPT if you have any question let me know in the comment section otherwise see you in another video happy prompting